good morning we're getting gas and the thing about this gas station probably lots of gas stations is they have their cameras that are right like right at each pump just kind of staring at you like Hal from 2001 Space Odyssey and uh, I don't know I don't know who else does this because I definitely do it but I just like to pretend that People are watching me through the cameras. And then I have conversations with them. I just give them weird looks, like... Like so. I can watch you, too. Morning. Look at these cuties. I don't know if I film it like this. It just looks like Lydia has a, a cool beard. <laughs> but it's an arter. Arter, 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 arter. Sleeping. He is. Well, he's kind of sleeping. He's resting. He loves his mommy. He loves it's his mommy. Family day cuddles. But not really. The day after family day cuddles. Yeah. But a year ago today, it was family day. A year ago today, family cuddles. Mm hmm. Come and cuddle. Cuddle? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Cuddles. So we just watched a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a while. Ender's Game. The movie from the book Ender's Game. Which you read. Which I read. Um, last Whatever. summer. It took me a while to read it. Because, I, I don't know, it took me a while to read it, but it was a really good book, and I really liked that book. It's a really good book. And so I wanted to watch the movie, and... It wasn't that good. It wasn't terrible, but... I, if you haven't read the book, either A, read the book, or B, yeah, watch the movie, I guess. But if you have read the book, probably don't watch the movie, because it's... Like, the movie is almost never as good as the book. However, this, in my opinion, is probably one of the worst, that I've seen, one of the worst book-to-movie adaptations. I'm trying to think what else is, like, worse. I don't know. It's up there with the Golden Compass. Yeah. Essentially. But I'd say this ha is, ha follows everything even less than like the golden compass movie does so yeah it just felt like they left out so much which is is always a problem but it was just like it was like the cliff notes version and even even less so and they just had like cut out all of the character development um they changed certain things to try and appeal to I don't love know, story. audience better, yeah, having a love story, and uh, it just, it just didn't, it didn't work, and also the subtlety was taken out of a lot of things, at least in my opinion, because there's certain stuff that you, you're kind of, you're not supposed to know about, and then it's like, ooh, a twist, or like, you just kind of figure something out, like, a lot later on, and watching the movie, at least knowing the story, I felt like it just it wasn't a surprise at all. It was just, like, laid out in front of you. Neon flashing signs. Yeah, exactly. And, yeah, like, even Lydia, who hasn't read the book, was just like, yeah, that was, that was pretty obvious. When, like, within the book, it's like, it's a big... Shrouded in mystery. It's, exactly, yeah. It's and that's what makes it so good and so so impactful because you you feel what Ender feels at certain times when things are revealed, and within the movie, you don't really get that. So, yeah. Um. Hopefully, at least with the movie. We can hope that more people will be aware of Ender's Game, and then we'll go and find the book and read it, because they will be like, what is this? And then they'll go read the book, and yeah, really good book. But, yeah, 
movie, mm, didn't like it so much. Oh well, that's gonna happen. So we started watching Avatar. I'd said we were gonna wait to start a show because we just finished Lost and we have tests coming up. But I didn't really feel like studying and I just wanted to watch it. And I really like Avatar. It's, it's a little bit of a childish show. It has its moments of really, really silliness. But it really does character development well. And I think Sean will appreciate that. And that I think he'll like it a lot. Yeah, we'll Once we get further in. What are your opinions after two episodes? Uh, it's good. It's a little silly. Yeah. Like, it is a Nickelodeon show. <laughs> Nickelodeon. And it is for kids. Yeah. Not for kids, but it's made for kids. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it's very good. So, yeah. I think, I think you will enjoy it. But, yeah, I, I didn't really feel like studying today. So that means all day tomorrow is dedicated to economics. I had my operations test today, which went fairly well. There was mistakes on the test, and it messed things up. And so it was a little iffy, but I finished everything. I even did a question that I wasn't supposed to do, so living the high life or something. Sean has accounting tomorrow. Yep. His test is tomorrow. I'm ready for it. He I studied, studied last today. Night and today. Yeah, because he didn't. We didn't have computers either, so he didn't even have to come to school. So just I went to school just to write a test. But it overall went well. I'll get a good mark and. Tomorrow, after Sean does his test, he'll study lots and lots for economics. Because for me, I've had three really easy tests. Because computers was easy, communications was okay, and operations I had a cheat sheet. So they were all easy. And economics is going to be this big monster of a test, I think. Because there's a lot of stuff, and it's stuff you just, you have to know it. And you have to know how things react and such. We do get a formula sheet only. That'll help some at, at any rate. Better than nothing. Yes. At least we don't have to memorize the formulas. Especially since all four of them are almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. And we get a mark for writing it down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So basically writing the formula sheet gets us a tiny amount of marks. Automatically. Woo! So, you can do good on your accounting? I'll do alright, yeah. Good. Perfect? Mm, probably not. 90s? Mm, I can hope. Mm, 90s. Okay. I'll do okay. my best. It's a lot harder this semester. Yeah. What, like, the, the stuff is harder. And I don't have you, me, you to kind of build me stuff off to of. do all of the studying. Well, not like that. <laughs> but it's, it was helpful to have somebody me, to you study to kind with, of like work with, and all that stuff. And you understand it together and all that. Yeah. But we got through two episodes of Avatar, and now Sean is tired and wants to go home and wants to go to bed. <sighs> Even though it's only, I don't even know, a clock. It is, I don't even know, a clock. Nine? It's only 8.18. What? No, let me see that. Why does it feel like midnight? I don't know. I said nine, and I thought that was going to be early. I thought it was going to be, like, ten. to ten. No. It's only eight o'clock. You can't go to bed now. Well, you can. You can. Well, yeah, because I feel really tired, too. But my head also really hurts, so. Well, it's just we've been just kind of being lazy. We've been in the basement. In the basement where you can't tell the time, and it just always feels like nighttime. Yeah. And we've just been sitting down or lying down watching stuff, so it's making me, making me 
Sheepy. Me and one of them did just close my eyes. Mm. And I don't want to watch more of the show because I don't want to fall asleep watching it. You wouldn't like that. No, I wouldn't. Alright guys, it's time for me to go to bed. I've done about as much studying as my brain can handle tonight. And all day today, really. And I need to go to sleep because, guess what? Studying is important for writing a test, but you know what else is important for writing a test? Getting sleep the night before. <laughs> Alright? Alright. Good night. Arthur, you want to leave? He hears people walking around upstairs. You want to leave? <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> Arthur, this way. Come here, this way. Lights this way. Okay, that way. God, you can't get out this way. <laughs> there. Ah, jeez. Silly Billy.